Let's look at how this, we find these time dependences of, of the current and the charge in these circuits. We'll take a look at specifically a discharge circuit. Here we have a capacitor that is charged up to a voltage V0 and we have a resistor and we, this is just at the moment when the, when the wire has been attached. At time zero, the charge on the capacitor is, is given by the capacitance times the voltage to which the, the capacitor has been charged, so C times V0. To analyze this, we go to Kirchhoff's second law and go around the loop. So we add the voltage across the capacitor plus the voltage across the resistor has to be equal to zero. The voltage across the capacitor is this just the charge per time, charge as a function of time, divided by the capacitance. We plunk that into our Kirchhoff's second law, add in the, the voltage across the resistor, set that equal to zero, and we're part of the way there. We have two uh, different quantities, in the, or two different variables, charge and current in this equation. We would like to get both get the equation in terms of just one variable. We can remember that the current is equal to the time derivative of the charge, or dq dt. We can plug that into our Kirchhoff's second law, and now we have an equation which just depends on Q so, um, and its time derivative. This is called a differential equation. To solve this differential equation, the time-honored way is to guess. And we know that we're expecting the, the charge to start out high and, and decay to zero, that typically has a form of a decaying exponential, so we take a generic exponential form of a constant A unknown times an exponential to the minus time divided by B, which is and the B is another unknown constant. And if we can solve, if this guess is right, then when we plug this, our guess into this equation, for example, we're plugging it into the first term here, it will it will satisfy this differential equation. Everything will turn out to be true. So we plug, but now we to plug it into the second term, we need the time derivative of the charge. Well, taking the time derivative of an exponential is fairly straightforward. It just means bringing down the time derivative of what's inside the exponential, or minus one over b. So the time derivative is a divided by b negative times the same exponential. Plugging that in and setting that equal to zero. Now many things cancel, the a's cancel, the exponents cancel, leaving us with an equation where, that is 1 over c is equal to r divided by b, and if we solve that for b, we get that b is equal to rc, so the b is our rc time constant, which is what we were hoping for. At time equal to 0, q0 will be equal to a from our guess, but it's also equal to Q, Q at time zero is equal to C times V zero because we had charged the capacitor to a certain voltage V zero times its capacitance. So that is what the charge is at time zero. So A is equal to C times V zero. So we get that the charge as a function of time is equal to C times V zero times an a decaying exponential with a time constant of RC.